I have a lot of books and I have a lot of painkillers. Uh, <laughs> baby wipes, Pedialyte, um, Gatorade, almonds. It, it looks like a five-year-old's like trail mix pack. Really, is it's what it's what inside my anything to keep me hydrated, uh, keep me a little bit fed and as clean as I can be. I guess. Uh, man, just a lot of tank tops and sunscreen. That's pretty much about it. Um, obviously the toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, baby wipes are probably the most essential thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Gold Bond, actually my most essential one is the Gold Bond foot spray. That one's my jam. <laughs> um, I would say probably the most important thing is, uh, medication that I take daily. Uh, I have, uh, I've suffered from anxiety since I was 15, so, uh, I've been taking medicine for it every day ever since then, so probably that and uh, just toiletry stuff to keep clean. Beer, food, weed, movies, uh, girls, uh, Chelsea Grin. <laughs> um, I don't know, Mike, what about you? Uh, let's see, my survival kit. The helping hand? Yeah, the helping hand, deodorant, uh, weed, beer, some whiskey. And uh, clean underwear. Yeah, clean, clean underwear for sure. Yeah, clean underwear. Sunglasses. Everyone looks cool in sunglasses. Oh, you mean like temperature cool? <laughs> oh, it just drink water, I guess. I don't know. Don't wear anything like this. this I'm only wearing this because it was actually cloudy this morning, but it's freezing on the bus. So I would say just function over fashion. Wear shorts if it's hot, please. Um, if you are not in a bus or a bandwagon, uh, I don't know, find some shade, drink a lot of water. I mean, I, we, we were drinking tons of water on the way down here just in preparation, or that way down to uh, Texas in preparation because we knew we were all going to be dead. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, stay hydrated and try to stay out of the sun. Just kind of chill on the bandwagon if you're overheating or in the bus, whatever you've got, and just like that air conditioner that sits right above on a ceiling spend two and a half minutes right there and you're good to go back out oh man honestly i i'm like the worst like i literally do not leave the bus until it's time to play or we do a signing so i just I, i'm like a hermit crab so i just stay on the bus <laughs> uh well thankfully we have a bus that has air conditioning so uh but for the people that are out in, uh, in the environment of Warped Tour, uh, I would definitely say just shade and water. I mean, that's, you know, just the more common sense things. Go stay on the bus. Stay on the bus. Or go find your friend with a good bus. Yeah, or go to the Monster Tent because they got an AC unit. Oh, yeah, or go to the Monster Tent. They got an AC unit. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I mean, they have a And the girls are fly too. Up there. And the girls are fly, yeah. I don't know. yeah stay yeah. in the rig. Yeah, stay on the rig. Rig. Yeah. As a fan, I think it was 1996 or 97. Um, I was in high school, uh, and I believe that was the one that I saw Olympus get play at. And I get them confused because they for the for two years they were both in the same place, and I went to both of them. But I think the first one I went to was the one where Olympus get played. Um, it was a different world. It was a different world back then. Um, and then. The first time, every time that I played it, I believe it was 2006. Uh, but we weren't official. We just kind of showed up with our gear and kept putting it on this little punk rock stage. And for, I don't know how this happened. I, I, I say this, and it seems like it's a dream. We just walked our gear through security to the stage every day, and we played. And we didn't have a schedule. We didn't even know. We had to read the paper that morning to find out where Warped Tour was. And then we went there in a van, and we just loaded up and played and then left. And we did that for about five days. And which one was the first one? It's like a... Like a real band? Yeah, legit. I think 2008 was our first one as a real band. I believe, yeah. Um, I'm really bad with dates. I know that... I'm going to say 2008, and I don't remember who was on it the first year, but I think it was Bad Religion, and I remember feeling like that was, that was it. We had made it. We were playing Warp Tour, and Bad Religion was playing too, so that was all you needed. My first work tour as a fan was, oh man, this is going to show everybody how old I am. Uh, I was 12, so 
I don't even know how old was I, what a year, 96? Something like that, I was 12 years old. I've gone to every Warped Tour from 12 to 21. Um, and then my first Warped Tour when I was, was when I was 24. It was when the first one I played on Warped Tour. So I've been going to Warped Tour for literally my whole life, I guess. <laughs> Uh, first Warped Tour I went to was, I think, in 2010. Uh, I watched, like, Closure in Moscow and Four Years Strong, as well as a few other bands like Real Big Fish. I, was, I also watched Some 41, so a lot of those bands are actually on it this year as well. And uh, this is the first warp Tour that, that Vail of Mine has ever done, so it's been an interesting experience to go from the fan perspective to the band perspective. It's actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, I've never, like, attended Warp Tour. I've always played it. Uh, I wanted to go to Warp Tour real bad when I was younger, but my parents wouldn't let me because I was too young. And then the first time we ever played it was uh, just, like, the Battle of the Bands thing, and we played uh, the Salt Lake, I think, like, just one of the small stages. And I think I was, like, 17 or so, and that was my first experience with Warp Tour. And, uh, and then this is our third year now, so it's awesome. Uh, the first Warp Tour I ever went to was... Uh in the year 2000 uh, and the first warp tour that I ever played on was 2010 uh, as a fan I went to a show like five years ago as a band this this warp tour uh, for me I honestly cannot tell you when my first warp tour was because it was that long ago uh, I do know set your goals was on it I do know as Asley Dying was on it. I do know Damn. Angels and Airwaves are on it. Damn. Uh, as a band, 2013 was my first time with Volumes on the tour. Yeah. Uh, Old Wounds is a great band. There's a stage called Full Sail Stage um, this year that it's it's sponsored by Full Sail, the, the university. And I feel like every band on that stage is going to have a breaking moment at some point in the future. It might not all happen at once for all the bands, but it's staggering. All these bands are going to have their shot because they're all incredible. So if you're coming to Warp Tour to check out new bands, just stand in front of that stage all day. Aside from our band, um, Old Wounds uh, is incredible. They're on full sail stage. Silent Planet, uh, Like Pacific. Um, Bad Seed Rising. There's a lot of really cool bands on the full sale stage, like a lot of cool bands that should definitely be checked out. Um, and then like other than that, um, I love watching Amarosa every day. They're incredible. Um, definitely go see Whitechapel. They're, whether you like metal or not, they are the loudest band you have ever heard in your entire life. It's so sick. Um, and then of course, like Every Time I Die, um, Volumes has been killing on this tour. They got Mike Terry in the band now, so like it's just like it's like it's a complete thing now. Um, so I love the Volumes guys. Uh, always fun watching Chelsea grin. I don't know. I could just literally name all the people on the tour because I think this tour is really rad this year. Um, I haven't been able to do it, but you should go watch Sum Forty One if you can because they're they're killer is what I'm hearing, and I haven't been able to go watch it because every time they play, I have press or something else, and I can't go do it. I like checking out Volumes and Chelsea Grin a lot, the bands I've toured with before and they just always impress me live, but I've checked out some newer bands and was really impressed by Cold Rain, stellar vocalist, instrumentation and everything is great, live sound is crisp every day, and uh, Bad Seed Rising is also very impressive, very young band, a lot of talent in that band, so definitely going to want to check out those four for sure. In, uh, on this tour, uh, and spe uh, specifically, uh, I've known about Gideon for a long time and I've met a lot of the dudes but I never really listened to music but I was walking by the stage the other day and I was like holy shit like this is heavy and like I went and watched and like I looked and I realized it was Gideon and I think I think they're one of the slammiest bands on the tour and uh, Volumes is a really good one pretty much the monster stage pretty much just slams really hard so <laughs> uh, yeah I mean if you want to check out us it'd be awesome uh, I mean there's a lot of bands like volumes is uh, one of those bands that you really should check out because they're just very they have their own style uh, you know there's uh, Vela Maya they're a really great band uh, I've been friends with those guys for a long time and uh, you know I mean there's all kinds of different that's the thing with Warped Tour there's just so many different types of music you can check out you know I mean check out all the bands if you can uh, well, yeah, just come check us out. Check out Volumes. Uh, set it off. Set it off. The Airs, Chelsea Grin, yeah. Bill Maya, Whitechapel, Whitechapel, uh, 
issues, sleeping with sirens, Story for sure. So far. Story so far. There's a, there's a lot. Some yeah, 41. Somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some 41. That, that, that's, there's, take your pick. Like, there's a lot. Everybody, if you can uh, try and at least see, because they, they do the time, so it's like, it's staggered, so you can check out at least one song from each band if you really want to film the shit. Oh, there was a time when, um, I, I mean, I still am a fan, but when I was like uh, mid 20s, I was a huge fan of Say Anything and like Say Anything is a Real Boy had just come out. Um, and, and Max had gotten sick, so he couldn't do one of the shows, and they asked me to sing for it, Say Anything. And at the time, I was like the biggest Say Anything fan, and I did that, so. That was a huge moment for me. I don't. I feel like it's, it's a it's a different tour this time because um, I've I've I'm I'm not drinking alcohol, so it's not it's all pretty miserable to be honest. <laughs> I miss alcohol badly, so I think that the highlight has been uh, one of the days when the catering line was really short and I got lunch really fast. <laughs> Those are the things I look forward to now. Well, on this tour, we just had our release day uh, was two days ago for All Hell and. All day, everybody that works at Warp Tour, all the bands, kept on giving, coming up to us and giving us hugs and saying happy release day. And like every band shouted us out on stages to go buy our new record. We sold so many records that day because so many bands wore our t shirts. Um, so it's really cool to see. That's kind of embodies Warp Tour for me is like everyone really supporting each other. There's no competition or hate or negativity out here. It's everyone really being supportive. So that was a really cool day. Plus, Boss Call was at 4 a.m., so we were able to like party a little bit. So that was a cool day. Yeah, I uh, woke up the other day and my friends were showing me Snapchats of the previous night. So my overall best experience was, unfortunately for me, one that I can't really recall. But the Snapchat stories told a good one and uh, it was totally worth it. It was pretty funny. So far, um, I mean, yesterday we played in Connecticut and uh, it was just wild. It was probably... A little one of the biggest crowds, if not the biggest crowd so far. So that was my, that was one of my favorites for sure. It was awesome. It was just a sea of people, you know. <laughs> Best experience I would say is probably, uh, you know, just being able to be a part of it and being able to have the opportunity to do it. You know, uh, we've, uh, we've been doing tours with uh, Kevin Lyman ever since uh, 2010. So, and you know, we've had a great relationship with him. So, you know, it's, uh, just the, the, the ability to be able to do it, you know, it's kind of the payoff for everything. Uh, my best Warped experience was when we, we, we were playing uh, volley one one day and I had a very special moment with a fan who was really getting into the song. That was super, super intense. Yeah, that, that was my most favorite moment. I think my favorite moment so far was when Sum 41 came and watched our set. Yeah, that's true. And that's told us that we were one of the best bands on the tour. And I quote, we have the most, our riffs have so much, vera, what do you say? He said like, the, ver, the ver, velocity, veracity? Uh, ver, ferocity. The ferocity yeah. of our riffs are unreal, quote unquote, something like that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that was the best yeah, time for me. Shout out to Brown, Brown Sound. Brown Sound, yeah. Brown Sound.